Wow, what a wonderful day. And this is This Day with B.J. Arnett. Welcome to the program. Today is a fun day for me because I have a buddy of mine who I admire so much. Now, I'm going to tell you a funny thing. I've been saying her name wrong for like for as long as I've known her. Her name is not Candice. Her name is Jawan Deese, Candice. And she is a stunt woman. Yes. How cool is that? It's, a, it's quite fun. It's, you know, my, it's an adrenaline rush. I can't. Well, there's a video <laughs> out there on you on YouTube. Yes. of you rolling over the top of a car and it just <laughs> freaks me out every time I see it. And I'm like, how do you roll over the top of a car and then stand up? You must know Jesus. I do. I know him well. <laughs> you have to. You have yes, to. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. What um, in the world made you do that? Why a stunt woman? I feel like you know, growing up as a stunt woman, I was blessed with this gift as being quite athletic. So when I moved to LA to pursue an acting career, all of my friends were like, you're such an athlete. You should try to use that to get in the industry. So I became a professional wrestler with WOW. Oh and from there, goodness. I got drafted to do stunts. Oh my goodness, there's there's a lady here at TV 57. I must introduce you all because she wrestles. And no way. You, yeah, see, oh, so I would love to meet her. A, a combination there. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. But I really want people to understand how you can jump into an industry Mm -hmm. that you didn't think that no. you were going to go that direction. <laughs> Not at all. But God kind of shifted you and put people in your path and said, hey, no, right. do this, do this, do this. Right. Actually, yes, it was back in 2001, and I was ending my wrestling career. It was over, and I did a movie with Queen Latifah, and she doesn't know this until this day unless she watches this show, but she was a huge inspiration because on my fourth movie with her, I was so frustrated that I wasn't booking any acting gigs, mm -hmm. and she sat me down in Prague on our last day of filming last holiday and said, you have such a gift of doing this. Every movie you've done, you're so good. I think you should do this. I think this is God's way of saying you should continue to do stunts to make your way to get into acting, and then the acting will come. So but if it wasn't for stunts. her to do the stunts, she told me you need to do stunts. You know, I really think <laughs> God gave you a gift and you really need to pursue this career. So after that, I took it seriously and then I just kept building my credits and it became fun and I started using what God gave, God gave me and it, I progressed, and now the acting career is coming. Okay, you know I gotta ask this because it's just funny to me. You know, I'm, I'm looking at you. You're a stunt woman. You're beautiful. Okay, oh, you're an absolutely you. gorgeous lady. Aww. And you know, I watch you. They they rag you down. Yes. They make you look absolutely terrible. They're really good at that. <laughs> yeah, and really and good. then yeah, you know, and then the particular video I'm talking about, <laughs> you're uh, uh, a homeless woman, yes. and you're about to cross the street, and a car hits you. Yes. Explain to people the <laughs> mechanics of knowing how to fall and move and then to get back up and go take two. That's just weird. <laughs> well, it's, it's really, it's, it's, it's some mechanics, yes, but it's also having faith that you will be okay mm -hmm. at the end of the at shot. At the end of the day. Yeah, right. at the end of the day. So I try to keep a positive mind. You have to stay relaxed and you have to have faith like the worst thing that could happen, I could break a bone and I've broken bones before riding motorcycles. <laughs> so I thought like, hey, the most that can happen and maybe I cannot walk again. But I try to keep a positive perspective and visualize actually what I want to happen. And that's part of what I do anyway, um, is visualize what I want to happen in my life. And this is how I want the thing to happen. Mm -hmm. And it actually comes to play. This is how I want to fall, I want to roll, I want to do this. And I keep telling myself that with every stunt. And it kind of involves, you kind of make it happen into existence. You bring it into you existence. You bring it into existence. Yes. And and correctly, praise the <laughs> Lord. You know, there is no bruising and yes. beat up. But Amen. you know, that what is so interesting about the mm -hmm. industry that you're in is that, you know, people would say that being a female actress and mm -hmm. being a black female actress is hard enough. But yes. then you would add <laughs> being a stunt woman to this. Yes. Are you crazy? What is wrong I with you? I am absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, um, when, you, when you saw yourself do it, did you look back and say, now, mm, I look not? back every time I see myself and I'm like, did I do this? Yes. Like, did I do this? Um, I mean, even things I did 10 years ago in the wrestling career, I'm like, I actually was jumping off the third rope backwards or forward into somebody. But I just feel like that that's <laughs> like, a part of myself that's 
a, the performer in me. Yes. You know, to see yes. myself on stage, I become this other person, this yes. alter ego. So, mm -hmm. and that's something I grew up doing. I was a tomboy growing up with my, the Belcher boys, you know, were my cousins and, um, it, it becomes second nature. So I feel like if you have a gift at something and you could use it mm -hmm. and it becomes a career, why not? Because why not? it's really not, you know, a job is your career and it's a hobby that I love to do and I'm getting paid for it. And and, and what a blessing <laughs> yeah, that is. It's such a blessing. And so you have a young son. Now what does yes. he think about mommy rolling over cars? Oh my god, he loves it. He, yeah, you're he, the coolest he mom tried, in the I'm the coolest mom. He gets on my motorcycle. He doesn't drive it of course <laughs> even though he's almost that tall but uh, he's a big kid. Mm -hmm. um, he loves it. He looks at it and he laughs and then he jumps off the bed and he's like look mommy I could do this. So I'm like wow I think he may do grow up to do what <laughs> yeah, I do. This, but, this may be yeah, in him. It's in him, I think, so I can't stop it. So I have to <laughs> kind of embrace it. That's probably who he will become. So that is such a fun <laughs> thing. But as you know, as I've watched you and you yeah. are you move so beautifully through oh. everything that you do. Oh. Tell me that I, and I want the folks to know about the things that you've done. Okay. Besides WrestleMania or anything like that and <laughs> rolling over cars. We've seen your face on quite a few programs. Just run down the list. Oh, yes. Um, I, uh, I have a recurring role in Resurrection, which is on ABC. Mm -hmm. I play a character by the name of Mrs. Camille Thompson, who just so happened to be Omar's mom. Which is a lovely thing. Which is a lovely thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I return in that from the 30s. And mm -hmm. I also played a supporting role in Let's Be Cops. I was actually uh, Jaquan Day, which is the Hoochie Mama sorority sister, which is <laughs> the funniest role I've ever played today. Totally funny. <laughs> totally funny. So, and I've also played ca character roles on Let's Stay Together, mm -hmm. Banshee, which is on Cinemax, and yeah. also booked a recurring on The Haves and the Have Lots for Tyler Perry on Arm. You know, as you look at Atlanta and, mm -hmm. and how this city, this state has grown yes. in this industry. Yes. Uh, what do you see the possibilities are for women who are in stunts, w women who are acting and, and trying to uh, move into a higher place, be excellent? Mm -hmm always, but to move in a higher place. What do you see? I think the opportunities are growing here for women, and women in film and television every day. Mm -hmm. We no longer have to go to Los Angeles. Yes. I moved here four years ago when I had my son, and I thought I was never going to work again, but I spend most of my time here working, which is a great thing. That's so I could awesome. be here with my son and don't have to travel as much. So I think the possibilities for women are tremendous. Um, especially not just in front of the camera, but behind the camera. There are so many female writers that I mm -hmm, know, directors, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I think the possibility will be endless. And 10 years from now, I think women probably will own Atlanta. <laughs> you know, it's so knows? funny, you know, the, you know, when you talk to guys about the film industry in Atlanta, they go, well, there's another woman in there. You know, it's, yeah. it's funny because women are growing right. and, you know, not not putting men aside, but it's, it's kind of cool to walk into any film right. set and television set and see men and women working together without any issues at all. Yeah. It's just kind of, it's happening now, but I think it's I the think perspective it's that mm -hmm. women have now. We're not trying to break a glass ceiling. It's broken. We're here. Mm -hmm. And we're at help, and we're not trying to gain something. And, and we're I gaining. think we're we're trying to establish a place in Hollywood yes. as strong women that we can direct, we can be grips, we can you exactly know, we can do it all. We can do it all, and I think there's so much support here for women in film and television, and I just love it, and it excites me. You know what what is an amazing thing that you said earlier that I have to roll back to mm -hmm. is that. And all the things that you've done and all the things that you're doing, especially the stunt sides, you have mm -hmm. to have faith that you're going to get through it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In this season of tremendous growth, yes. coming out of LA into Atlanta, you see Atlanta now, we're at like uh, $69 billion yes. as the state of Georgia in this industry. Mm -hmm. There are doors flying open that have never been open before. Talk yes. to us further about positions other than an actor, other than the in front of the camera. In front of the camera. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed when I was in L.A., not to take it back to L.A., where there are millions of people pursuing this, this industry, mm -hmm. but when I moved here, the opportunity for me to pursue an actor, I thought was limitless, you know, and, but I had faith with the industry growing that I that doors open for me. And then I saw other doors opening for hair and for makeup and, yes. and for, for women to be directors mm -hmm. here. I know so many female independent directors and writers that is 
amazing opportunities. And I think that it's gonna put Atlanta on the spot for being like the number one place for women. You know, because mm -hmm. it used to be the number one place for music, and I think it's the number yes, one place yes. for film and television, and now that women can have the power here. And that's why I embrace it. I embrace you, because I yes. think you're, you're a strong woman that I know. Oh, thank one you. Of the, one of the most. And um, I admire you, and I admire all the women that are in film and television. Well, you know, I have to say to you is that, uh, you know, I love what you say about your son because I admire <laughs> your strength to do all this in front of your little boy yeah. and let him see the strength that yes. mom has yes. to continue on and to be who God has called her to be in, yes. in, a, in an industry that most it's mommies impossible. are not in. <laughs> I know. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot to do in terms of getting your craft in order. Mm -hmm. And as you have come from L.A. and come into Atlanta, it sounds like the essential ingredient that's different is that you can actually do family in Atlanta. Yeah, I can. I really, you know, moving back here was the main reason that I moved back because of my family here. Mm -hmm. And that was the sole reason. And my career became secondary. But being in Atlanta, you're able to do both economically, yes. you know, at that. Yes. So um, I feel like you know, my faith called me back. Mm -hmm. And because of my faith called me back, it's called me to still be able to pursue my career as an actor and a stunt woman and a single mom. And that I'm able to amazing. do both. And I'm, it's just such an amazing feeling. And I think with the industry growing that um, a lot of families may come here, you know, with people moving here. And I mm -hmm. think it'd be great because it's so family oriented. It and is. I just love it. It is. I love this city. There's a, there is a young woman and a young man out there who's saying, I want to do that. <laughs> yes. How can people get in touch with you? To, I think people can find me. You could find me on Twitter. You could find me on Facebook. You could find me on Instagram, all under Jawandis Candice. And um, if you would like to email me also, you could find me at jawandis at yahoo.com. I'm always willing to help people, to mentor people. Thank you so much. To um, worship with people, you know. And, and a true worshiper. <laughs> It's not silent, though, y'all. Y'all need to understand. She's not the quiet worshiper. I don't know. She's the energetic yes, worshiper. I am. I am. I am. So I'm always willing to help people, and I mentor a lot of people on how to get in the industry, how to become a stunt person, how to become an actor, where to go. If I don't know the answers, I know how to point them in the right direction. I try to. And, and so. that's important. Mm -hmm. That's important. Thank you so much for Thank being here. Thank you for having me. If you have a son or a daughter, or you yourself, Mom, Dad. <laughs> okay, Uncle Joe, you think 60 is too late to do this? You could be totally wrong. Why not just step out to what God has for you? Mm -hmm. Don't have any fear. Just have faith. Let God show you how you can have the position that you want to have in the industry that you love. Don't just be a couch potato. Be someone who is of action. Go out and take charge and do it. But do it in excellence. Do it unto Jesus. We love you. God bless. Amen.